Eric is kind of secretly the mastermind <laughs> behind Bloodshot. Well, he I, he's the head tech who works under Harding at RST, but he, in a way, comes up with all the memories that we code into Bloodshot that convince him to, you know, act the way he does and go on his missions and catch these bad guys. Working with, as Eric to Harding, I think it's like a fun relationship. I think the, you know, it has like a lot of comedic aspects to it because Harding's disposition is like a very serious kind of mad scientist who's really into his work. And Eric is more of a kid that knows he's too smart to be here. So kind of just does whatever he wants and tries to get away with everything. And so the interplay between Harting trying to keep him in check, but also knowing that he needs Eric to accomplish some of these things was really interesting. I mean, it's Vin Diesel, right? He's such a big star. So I was definitely nervous to work with him. But once you meet the guy, you just see that he's like this sweet, you know, open kind of fun person who's always cracking jokes, but also always wants to know what you're thinking and wants your input and wants you to bring whatever you have to the table. So it's, it's definitely been interesting because I came into it having a different image of who he would be. There's something so tech-based to him, and all of, you know, even with the look of the movie and how we approach Bloodshot um, as a character, there's something, it just seems very, it seems realistic almost. I mean, obviously the nanite technology is far-fetched, but even still, it's everything seems more kind of tactile, and it seems like it could almost happen um, in a way. Um, from you know, and it, yeah, and I think like a part of that is Dave's kind of background as working on video games and knowing so much about how computers work and how you know technology works today. It comes through in the film, and it feels like there's. It feels real in some way. It doesn't feel kind of out there, wild imagination. It feels like it could actually happen. It, maybe not today, but in 15 years from now, that something like this could happen. And um, that's what's scary about it. But that's what's also really cool about Bloodshot as a character. Seeing him in like a different light um, that is for, very interesting, first of all. And I think having all of these extremely talented actors around him for him to interact with and sort of create this whole universe that they've never, maybe never even heard of. It's new and exciting and people want to jump into it. But I think more than that too, even people who weren't necessarily big action Vin Diesel fans, I think once they hear about this movie and find out what the premise of it is, I think people will want to know what happens next because it's such an interesting premise.